Hi, welcome back to my channel, Scale Model Kit Review. I'm super excited to bring you another fantastic installment of the Fan Home Build the Batmobile. I'm working on pack two, phases three, four, and five. This car brings a lot of nostalgia for me, and I'm super excited to build this for you on this channel. If you have never built a parkwork kit before, this is the one for you. Head over there and subscribe to this car today. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review and welcome back to another installment of the fantastic Fan Home Build the Batmobile. I'll be working on phases three, four, and five. Let's look at the parts that came with this package. Phase three, we received the roll bar and all the components for that. Phase four, the front windshield. And phase five, we begin the transmission. Let's get started. This brand new part work kit comes to us from Diagostini Fan Home. You can find this on Fan Home's website. I put a direct link in the description below. Fan Home exists to make Fan Home stories you love and that will last forever. From their high quality catalog, to their unrivaled range of popular and rare figures. All their products are original in-house designs and you won't find anywhere else. Be inspired by their exclusive content. Now let's look at Phase 3. Phase 3 magazine full of features here. We'll just flip through the pages here real quick. Great articles here. They get into the comic book aspect of the Batman. And what we're really keen on are the step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Let's look to see what we're doing with Phase 3. Phase 3, I'll be putting together the roll bar, the beacon, and the emergency bat turn lever. Here's the parts. And we'll have to remove some parts from the sprue. A real good sprue cutter would be very helpful at this point. Listing of all the parts here. Parts locator. Little key on color coding. Very nice how they do this here. They list the uh, assemblies going uh, vertical. One and two. and three and four. And lastly, step five. And the final result. Let's look at the parts. Everything is protected in this very nice blister pack. Keeps all the parts nice and safe. Let's get a closer look. Here's a closer view of the bigger parts. This is the underside of the roll bar, which is made of plastic. Very nice there. And the roll bar itself, which is made of metal. Very nice. Emergency bat turn lever. Graphics on there. Very nice. Let's look at the smaller parts. Here's all the parts for the roll bar. And we did get the LED light here. It looks great. Let's look at the screws. ACM, AM, and NP. The M means used for metal and the P used for plastic. I would suggest you get some good high quality sprue cutters and we'll need to cut off these first parts that we're going to assemble. And same with these. And you can see where I'm cutting them at. And I'll insert just like this. Get 
do four of them like that. Bring the roll bar over, turn it over, and I'll insert it just like that. Bring over this bracket and you'll notice it has a slight curve and so do the holes themselves. So we want those to line up exactly how the holes are on the bracket. Longer on this end, shorter on that side. ACM screw goes into this. It does have a flange. And that's good there. That's how that looks. And with that, just make sure they're all tightened down. Next, I'll install the beacon. And you can see the beacon has a couple of tabs on it that line up with the top here. Press fit that in place. Put the clear lens in. Here's the mount for the LED. We'll press fit the LED in place. We'll go ahead and bend the terminals over. Go ahead and insert that into the beacon. Put the cover down across the beacon there. AM screw goes into that. I did oil it with 3-in-1 oil. and tighten them both down. Note that the tab here is sticking up. Looks great. This is the bat turn lever and this is made of rubber. See that? We're going to go ahead and insert that in just like that. bring over the inside panel for the roll bar and flip it over and we're going to push that down just like that. Going to fit the bat turn handle in that opening there. We'll hold the back side and push it in. And it only goes in one way. So make sure you pay attention to that. There is a flat notch on that hole. That's what that looks like. The dome lenses get installed next and they are marked left and right. You can see there's an L right there and the R right there. Bring over the roll bar. We'll put the right one in on the right side. Very tiny NP screws go into this. Going into plastic, you don't need to lubricate. And that's what it looks like. They're all tight. And remember, you received a screwdriver in your initial package. Some tools I would recommend for your toolkit are the Weira screwdrivers, the PH00. PH0 and PH1 screwdrivers, along with some very high quality sprue cutters, and some 3-in-1 oil. 
Next I'll go ahead and install the dome lenses and do this press fit on top here. Just like that. And that's how they look there. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and fit the bottom of the roll bar in place. And it's going to mount underneath the roll bar. We're going to take our LED wire here. We're going to fit that through the slot. Just to make sure our wires are out of the way. Line up everything, just like that. Four AM screws will go into this. Next one, and the next one, and the next two. And that's good. And that completes phase three. A lot was done here. I had a blast assembling this. It's great. Let's head over and do phase four. Phase three was a lot of fun. Let's look at phase four. And we'll give a quick view of the magazine here. Lots of wonderful articles here, of course. Get right into it here. Let's get a close-up of what we'll be doing. Receive the parts for the front windshield. We're going to put some reinforcements on it. There's the parts locator. We're going to fit these reinforcements on the lower corners, left side, and the right side. And we'll go ahead and protect the windshield a little bit later. That's what they recommend. Let me get the parts. I'll be right back. And for phase four, we'll receive the front windshield. Well protected in this blister pack. Very nice. Let's get a closer look. Here's the windshield. Very nice. Great clarity on the other side. Fantastic. I love the chrome trim on it. And then we have two plastic reinforcements for the corners. The reinforcements are marked on the back side, the left side, and the right side. There's two tabs that insert on the corner. and they just press fit in place. Now the right side. And that's how that looks there. And that's all I do with phase four. Looks great. Let's head over and do phase five. I went ahead and put the windshield back inside the blister pack for storage. I'm very impressed with that windshield, and I'm glad we can go ahead and uh, store it inside of that blister pack. This just makes things a lot easier. So we'll go ahead and build the final phase for pack two. Look at the magazine here just real quick. Great stuff here. And we get to the part where we have our parts here. Let's get a closer view. Phase five, we start working on the Batmobile engine, starting with the gearbox and starter motor. There's all the parts. Here's the list of the, all the parts. Part locator, once again. Assemble the bell housing. 
prepare the cables. We need a 70 millimeter cable and a 60 millimeter cable. Fit the cables on the housing. Fit the starter cable. There you go. Let me get the parts. I'll be right back. Here's parts pack for phase five. Let's get a closer look. Here's a close-up of the parts. The bell housing itself is made of metal. Very nice. The bottom of the bell housing is plastic. Everything else is plastic for connecting up our stuff. CM, DM, and FP screws. And 70 millimeters will be right there at the 7. That's good there. And 60 millimeter. Perfect. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this connector, which is 05C to the inside of the bell housing, just like that. Two FP screws go into that, and the next one. And make sure they're both snug, that's what that looks like there. And that's what that looks like there. Next I'll install the next connector, the longer one, into the bell housing. Two DM screws go into that. And that looks good there. Bring over the cover, mount that onto the back. Three CM screws go into this. I did lubricate it with oil. And last one, I am using the larger screwdriver, the one screwdriver. There you go. Next, we'll work on the cables. This is the longer starter cable, 70 millimeter, and we're gonna put the larger connector on it. And just push it through. Just like that. Bring over the bell housing and it's going to press fit to the bottom hole here. Just like that. Now we bring over the shorter cable for the starter and the little black connector and we're going to install that. Perfect. Here's our starter, and we put our cable on that. Press fits down, just like that. And that's all I do with phase five. That's great, and really it was pretty easy to do here. I'll be right back. And that completes package number two. We uh, built on the row bar, did a lot with that. That was a blast build. We added the reinforcements to the front windshield, and that's great there. And we started on the engine with the bell housing and the starter. So if you think you'd like to get this for yourself, I do highly recommend it. I did put a direct link in the description. Click on that, and we'll take you right to Fan Home so you can start your subscription today. I do recommend this as your first build. If you've never built a part work kit, what are you waiting for? Head over there and start building this. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. Until the next shipment, happy modeling everybody and take care.